Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are joined back by the one, the only Wells Adams. What's up, David? How are you, bud? Welcome back. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. How are oh, you it's today? So nice. It's so nice back here behind the velvet rope. Like being in front of the velvet rope with all the normies, not so great. But this is really plush. Well, listen, you know a thing or two about being behind a velvet rope, Wells. I mean, you know, thank you for taking time out of your favorite thing with Brandy Wells, your own pod by Brandy Cyrus. What am I saying? I'm doing too many things at once. But, you know, welcome. How is the podcast going these days? Yeah, it's going good. We uh, realized uh, the other day that we had done your favorite thing podcast, Wells and Brandy, since for the past seven years, which seems like a very, very long time. Uh, it's still going strong. People are still listening to it, which is crazy for me. Um, but it's, it's been, it's been a crazy seven year ride. It started as we were trying to, uh, get a, at the time I was doing a, a night show on a pop station in, in Nashville on iHeart. And I was trying to get, uh, Brandy and I show syndicated and they didn't, they didn't bite on it because, they make bad decisions sometimes. And so we decided to make this show a podcast and it's still going. So it's been fun. Someone told me I'm in my fourth year. Someone told me apparently at the fifth year that that is when you're, I've never heard this term, but that's when you're considered a legacy podcast. So you and Brandy oh. are a legacy podcast, just FYI. I did not know that. Um, that's cool, I guess. Good for well, us. Right? We Good for you guys. I mean, seven years is a long time. I mean, look, a lot, most people come and leave, right? They don't last. I mean, I read somewhere else, someone told me that, I guess someone in the industry said most podcasts don't make it past like 17 episodes once they start. So yeah, seven years is pretty good, Wells. Well, thank you. And five years is pretty good for you. Or six, whatever you said. Here we are. I yeah. mean, what what are some of your favorite things these days? Like, what has sent you down the rabbit hole? I saw in a recent episode, I split my time between New York and L.A., so I was just yeah. in L.A. It was a ghost town. I saw you just did an episode on Coachella. Everyone really, I mean, I'm not a Coachella person, but the whole rest of L.A., it was like, this is truly a ghost town right now. Yeah, it was kind of nice when Coachella happens. Everyone leaves. Um, but then you have to look at Instagram and see all these ridiculous photos of people dressed up like they're a cowboy hooker or some weird, you know, like ashless chaps with cool sunglasses on. Um, but no, one of my favorite things right now, uh, let's see. I am mean, like obsessed right now with, um, with a show on, on Netflix called outlast. It's, uh, it's like a survival show. Um, Jason Bateman actually produced it and Ooh. it's like alone, but it's also like hunger games. Like people team up and there's alliances and like a helicopter drops like packages for people. Um, and there's a woman on it named Jill who is, listen, I've been around a lot of villains on reality show, uh, reality shows over the years. This woman is the wor the worst. It, like it's I'm absolutely mind blown that this person is like this on this show. Uh, so that's my favorite show right now. Also, there's a show called Jury Duty on Freebie, uh, which is like a a part of the Amazon Prime app. And I don't know if you see that, but- it I is know someone who's in it, Trisha. She, she was on my podcast and- Oh, really? We lost touch. And then I was like, this show is like so amazing. I'm like, congratulations. Well, James Marsden's in it at playing himself, which is so freaking funny. Uh, the, the premise is it's like, uh, there's a documentary about um, like a civil case, a civil and uh, a civil case. And there's one guy, one guy who's a juror, who's like the head juror. And he doesn't know, but everyone else is an actor and it's the, and, it, and he's like the sweetest, nicest guy. Like uh, it's an absolutely fantastic show. So those are my two TV shows. Um, let's see movies right now. Um, Air is uh, amazing. Everyone should go see that um, yesterday. Um, books, I'm reading, um, oh, uh, In the Weeds. It's a, a book about Anthony Bourdain. Uh, well, it's written by his uh, EP, his executive producer, and it's like all the behind the scenes stuff. Um, huh. Go read that. That's if you're a big Anthony Bourdain guy, which I feel like everyone's an Anthony Bourdain guy. Um, music right now. Um I don't, I don't know. Tyler Childers always has some great stuff going out. I'm a big fan of his. And 
that's it. It's, that's kind of everything we do. We talk about like what our favorite things are, which is usually movies, books, TV shows, um, and then like our daily lives. And TV. Jury duty is phenomenal. Yeah. Well, you you do know a thing or two about like reality TV villains. You know, you're on Bachelorette and Bachelor in Paradise, Master of Ceremonies. Like, are you caught up on the scandal? Like, are you aware of what the scandal <laughs> is? I mean, it, and why is this such a big thing? I'm yeah, it's curious. funny. It's well, it's funny is that my manager also manages Tom and Jax and like a lot of people from the Vanderpump Rules thing. I do not watch that show. Um, so I only but but I do know what's going on. And like, I've heard all the stories about like, Tom and Raquel and Adriana. Is that who it is? My Ariana. Ariana. Listen, close. I was close. That's pretty good. You, you were but close. I, but I also have to, I see it through the prism of my, my managers having to deal with, which I'm sure is just like having to put out dumpster fire after dumpster fire after dumpster fire, Howie Mandel's involved somehow. Um, so yeah, I, I've, um, I've been, I've been seeing it and it just seems, it seems like great TV, I guess. I mean, it's like, we haven't even gotten to that. It's like, you know, this group is so incestuous. They've all slept with each other. I mean, to me, it's like, I just don't understand why this is such a, we're not even on the part where it's on the TV. It's like just in real life and this girl, yeah. Raquel, and she was great friends with Ariana and sure. But I mean, this whole group has slept around. I'm just like, I, I don't understand why this is such like that big, like David Spade was going into some red carpet like a few weeks ago. And they said like, what's your goal of the night? And he's like, I just want to know what's going to happen on Scandaval. And I'm like, yeah. Like what, like, how is this, like with everything that we've seen in reality TV, why, like, why is this such a big thing? Yeah, I don't know. It's juicy. And like the way it went down with like, I guess he's like playing a show and like the the phone and uh, the video on the phone. It just seemed, it's like really, really very juicy. I mean, Lisa Vanderpump, the whole cast must just be like, okay, we see some money in our future. I mean, Lisa yeah. doesn't need any more money, but I'm sure this is going to be great for the show and like infuse life into this franchise. Yeah. Is it on, is it on Bravo? Yeah, it's on Bravo. I'm sure Bravo is just like, cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. they picked up, which doesn't always happen. Like they picked up cameras, like the season was wrapped. It was oh, yeah. odd. And they picked up cameras just to like extend the season and capture this and like re-edit some things, even though they say they're not re-editing that much. I was saying, I mean, I don't think, you know, no shade to anyone on Vanderpump Rules, but I don't think there's really a world in any where anyone on Vanderpump Rules could really be the Bachelorette. But I think Ariana, she's like America's jilted, you know, woman. She's she's around the right age. I mean, she is the right age. She looks the part. I think. What do you think of Ariana as the Bachelorette? Yeah, I think that's actually a pretty good idea. Um, I don't know if we could afford her, if I'm being honest, because I imagine she uh knows her worth right now and that would probably be pretty expensive to do i mean we for the most part you know cast with inside the bachelor uh family but yeah you know, with done it before you know um we've had that we've had bachelors before that weren't from the show um like matt james good example of that so yeah i'm all i'm all for it i think that would be great do you like the idea of like, you know, casting, like I'm sure names come up like casting just, you know, well-known.